Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to produce a periodic signal in Machine Expert Basic and download this program on Schneider PLC TM221 and adjust cycle time of the signal by using Proface HMI ET6000 series. In this project, PLC is connected to the HMI by using Modbus RTU RS485. After creating new project in Machine Expert Basic, go to Properties to Inactive Application Protection and remove the error. In configuration, I define the necessary digital inputs and outputs. I define one emergency switch, one enable switch, and one digital output that is the periodic signal. Okay, now start the programming. To produce a periodic signal, I use two pulse timers. TM0 calculates the on time and TM1 is for the off time. Time base of the timers are set to 1 second, but for changing the preset, you have to move the desired value to tm0.p and tm1.p. For the simulation test, I put 5 seconds for tm0 and 2 seconds for tm1. Go to commissioning and launch the simulator. Now we run the PLC, force enable signal and emergency stop, then you can see the output. Okay, you see that the code is working without problem. Now we have to define two variables for preset times and then use them in HMI. For using variables in Proface HMI, we have to export variables to an Excel file and then import that file in GPPro software.
open the exported excel file select the first column and separate the text to columns now there are three columns uh, symbol address and comments to be able to import this file in GP Pro we have to add another column that defines the type of the data here we have bit and integer type GP Pro EX I have created a project before and the display is ET6000 COM1 is for the RS232 and COM2 is dedicated to RS485 and 422 this HMI uh, has also an, an Ethernet port that I use it for the downloading the program to HMI in this project we want to use COM2 for serial communication in project window you can see device PLC setting you can change the device I select the Schneider Electric SA and the series Modbus SIO Master with COM2 RS485 baud rate setting is uh, 9600 data length is 8 with even parity and one stop bit here in individual setting you have to select so much in basic syntax the slave address is 1 next step is importing variables click on symbol variables and then with utility import and select other formats select the excel file and open take into account that the bit address and word address should be completely the same formats written in type column In a screen list, I prepared an screen before with two input entries for on time and off time. Here you can find the imported variables on time and off time. Tick the box hello input. And in data, data entry tab, check enable pop-up keypad. We have to do the same for off time. By tapping on two corners of the screen of the HMI, you have access to offline configuration and LAN setting on HMI and you can insert the desired IP now transfer the project to HMI It 
Okay, we have to do the communication settings for PLC. It is defined as a slave in serial communication. After transferring the program to PLC, you see that uh, timers preset values are equal to zero. Now I insert values 8 and 2 seconds by HMI. And then come back to the machine expert and you see uh, it works well. Connection cable is connected to PLC by RJ45 circuit and from the other side is connected to DB9 female connector with this wiring. Take into account that pins number 2 and 7 is connected together in DB9 connector and uh, pins number 1 and 3 are connected together as well. You have to do these jumpers, otherwise the HMI has frame error or parity error and it will not connect to PLC. Here in this uh, picture you can see the real implementation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and please like this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good time.